Hey Aquarius, welcome to April. So this is gonna be your reading for April 1st through the 15th. So, got kind of a lot of messages when I was shuffling. It's like, I saw a lot of threes. Hello, <laughs> okay. So right off the bat, we have a seven of cups. We could be we could be confused, but we usually think it out. So we're not like we're usually not the people to like be confused a lot. Like in my opinion, I don't think we're confused a lot because we think it all the way out, all the way through. So definitely can need to have some patience in whatever you're dealing with. Have the fool could be Aries. If there's a relationship, or there could be some unexpected shit coming. Okay, let me pull some more cards. But yeah, I saw three of pentacles and the three of wands a lot. So whatever we're working on, we are making progress, thank God. Okay. So then I have more for Aquarius for April. Get more for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for April. Okay. Pull that one. Hey. Will of Fortune. So yeah, something's coming full circle could be dealing with another fixed sign but i'm feeling like just because in this particular deck the wheel of fortune there's a star right in the middle so this is definitely us completing a cycle starting a new cycle brand new cycle with the full card here so yeah have the empress three of swords in reverse and the two of pentacles so if yeah if there's a situation you got your heart broken, the eight of cups that you walked away from or they walked away from, you're okay because you have restored the balance in your life. Yeah, this will, the will of fortune, you've definitely restored balance in your life. You got the empress card in the middle, could be done with the Taurus, but I'm really feeling like this is your energy, just nurturing yourself, taking care of yourself. The temperance card could be a Sagittarius, but I'm feeling like you have been patient but also there's just a lot of balance energy here maybe a little bit of boredom i don't know because it's empress she's really pretty and all she's really abundant and everything's great could be getting pregnant okay um if you don't want to be pregnant watch out for that but um yeah maybe you do want to be pregnant maybe that's a new cycle they just i don't know but um Four of Cups here. Maybe you're just a little bit bored because now you're not thinking about the heartbreak anymore. So now you're bored. So boom, here comes a new opportunity here with the full card. Maintaining balance between work, love, life, everything. With the Seven of Cups here, I do think there are options for you. Could be the option between a Taurus, Sagittarius, and Aries. Sun moves rising or shit. Okay. Knight of Wands. Okay, yeah, alright. So alright, I don't know why I just got this. But maybe you guys are bored. And if this is somebody, they're gonna come in fast with their wand. If you know what I mean. So yeah, they're gonna come in fast to cause he, if anything, this dude is not bored. And maybe you're just looking for some fun, which is cool. Hmm. But yeah, I like that this Three of Swords is in reverse. Because there's no... If you're still thinking about it by the 15th or by the end of April, you're not going to be anymore. But also, I'm pretty sure that Venus is in Aquarius, which I think could be this... You're embodying this Empress energy. You're definitely taking care of yourself, nurturing yourself, being very patient with whatever. And... This guy just looks like, on this card, he just looks like he's in the process of choosing one of these options. Like, he just looks like he's in the process. Or maybe unexpected options are coming towards you. Okay. So, yeah, the strength card. I was thinking about the Seven of Cups. So, yeah, Leo could be an option for you. Or uh, a Taurus. Yeah, and with the Queen of Pentacles at the bottom. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, we have the Hierophant. Maybe you've wisened up. That's what I want to say. 
But yeah, this cycle is over and immediately a new one begins. Like immediately, immediately. But you're maintaining perfect balance with it. I don't feel... I mean, you could be juggling options. Definitely could be. But you're bored with maybe all of them. And then boom, here, here comes this Knight of Wands to relieve your boredom. Okay. Hmm. Can I get... What's the Temperance card for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. What's the Temperance card for Aquarius? April the 1st to the 15th. What's the Temperance? Yeah. Eight of Wands. Okay, so maybe you're waiting patiently on um, some communication from somebody or about something. Possibly. Oh, maybe you're waiting for communication about an offer or a potential offer with the Ace of Cups at the bottom. Okay. Clarify the Fool for Aquarius. What's the Fool? Okay. Oh, this is okay. So it could be another air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or Queen of Swords clarified the Fool. So if it's a person, an Aries could be looking at you or somebody just very outgoing, very let's take a chance, or this new opportunity is for you. I don't see you cutting anything out with this energy here. I don't feel that. I feel like you already did that with the Three of Swords in reverse. You already did it. It is clear of your energy. And now you're bored. Hmm. Okay. Can I get more in the Queen of Swords and the Fool? What's the Queen of Swords and the Fool? What's the Queen of Swords and the Fool for Aquarius? This one. Three of Wands, set progress. Okay, <laughs> shit. I don't know, whatever this opportunity is, take it. Because it's important for your progress on whatever you're doing. Hmm. I wanna know what you're bored about, shit. Okay, can you clarify the will? What's the will for Aquarius? Reverse, what's the will? Page of Pentacles. So it could be a new opportunity with a job. Maybe you're starting something new. Maybe you're creating. And it's a whole new cycle. So like I'm feeling like it's it's good. Well, of course it's good. But like Yeah, and it's gonna bring abundance with the Empress right next to that. So whatever you're doing, whatever you're working on, keep doing it. Because it is bringing abundance and you are gonna maintain perfect balance. But these two cards at the bottom kind of contradict each other because the Knight of Wands is like, if he's anything, he's not boring. So like, maybe you're bored of something and then maybe somebody sees that and boom, here you are. Like she's so bored that this girl, and I don't know if you can see it, but the girl in the picture in the Four of Cups is literally drinking the cup. So yeah. And this dude has fucking flowers on his wand. So yeah, there's gonna be an offer. Remember, he's a knight, but it's okay, because you're bored, and I feel like you want to have fun, and then boom, here's your fun. Shit. Okay, but yeah, whatever job you're working on, whatever you're doing, whatever project, whatever anything, keep doing it. It's going to bring abundance. Okay. So clarify the three of swords in reverse. Universe, what's the three of swords in reverse? What's the three of swords? You know, I'm going to take that one too, because I wanted to go. Oh my god. Okay, so you definitely could have been dealing with a fire sign and with the king. Okay, because to clarify the three of swords in reverse, the king of wands and the king of swords came out. So here's you and somebody else. Aries, Leo, Sag. Doesn't have to be those signs, but just somebody, you know, with that energy. Very fiery energy. Hmm. Yeah, you cut it out. The king of swords are right. Like, it was nothing. You guys are completely on the same level here being two kings but maybe maybe you both are coming out of heartbreak maybe you guys didn't break each other's heart for some reason i'm getting that i don't think you broke each other's heart could have but these guys kind of almost have the same stance and the same everything right now but whoever you were dealing with you guys are with the will of the year evolving together 
Okay. You could have cut this person out for sure, but if it was a breakup, you guys are evolving quickly, both of you. So, I don't know, maybe it didn't, maybe the heartbreak like wasn't so bad, but it still hurt a little bit, but you're completely clear of that energy now. Hmm. Okay. Maybe you were working with the fire sign and you guys are leveling up together. Okay. Hey. Okay. What's the two of pentacles for Aquarius? What's the two of pentacles for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus? Hmm. Okay. So you have the knight of wands again. So... Yeah, I think I just feel like you're juggling work and fun. Like if this is not a person, you're juggling work and fun and you're doing a very good job at it. Maybe you're bored. You're bored of fun. Like not of fun, but the fun maybe you're having, you're bored of it. I think you want something new. Hmm. Damn, and the three of swords in reverse again. So yeah. This is very straightforward, which I wouldn't expect anything else from y'all, but shit. Hmm. Maybe you moved. Maybe. You're bored of something. What's the Four of Cups? What's the Four of Cups for Aquarius? What's this energy? Shit. No, okay. Maybe you're bored of being single. Because the Nine of Cups here clarified the Four of Cups. Maybe you're bored of being single. But the beginning of your reading, yeah, definitely. I think you're bored of being single. Because if you're not right now, you are going to embody the Empress. She's sitting here, abundant as shit, looking pretty as shit. But she's sitting alone. And I think you're bored of sitting alone. Like, I think you want to take a chance. With the Fool here, you want to take a chance. Yeah, definitely, because the Queen of Swords clarified the Fool. So you want to take the chance. You want this. You want the new beginning. Your job, it's going great. You started it. You loved it, okay? The job's being fine. But so, okay, so since this is about being bored of being single, let's talk about your options. So, Major Arcana, we have the Fool, Aries. We got a Taurus here, Strong Taurus. We got a Libra, Sagittarius. Strong Leo, the strength card, and the queen or the king of wands, air sign. They're all here, okay? They are all here. And as the empress, you are looking great. Hmm. And you're maintaining perfect balance. I think, yeah. Hmm. Okay, that's cool. That's what's up. Yeah, page of cups at the bottom. So, yeah, you could be getting messages from somebody. Some of these people, maybe. But you're bored of being single. Clarify the Knight of Wands. What's the Knight of Wands for Aquarius? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What's the Knight of Wands for Aquarius? Okay. Hello. I'll take both of them. Okay, so Knight of Wands. You got the Knight of Pentacles. So maybe this is a single fire sign that's coming towards you. Somebody that's doing pretty well. Then you have the Wheel of Fortune again. So yeah, this strong fire sign doesn't have to be. But this, you got the Wheel of the Year twice. The King of Wands is everywhere. So yeah, clarify the Knight of Wands. There's an offer coming in. Could be from a fire sign, strong fire sign. That's why I said in this deck, like specifically, he has flowers on his wand. This guy over here, the other Knight of Wands. Okay, so you could be juggling. Yep, yeah, I see it. All right, so... By the end of the month, at least, this is the first of the 15th, but by the end of the month or the end of maybe Aries season, you are going to be juggling, not people, but you're going to be trying to maintain balance between love and work because there are offers here. And it's, it's meant to be in a way because it is a new cycle. So if you, yeah, because the universe knows you're bored of being single, so they're going to slap someone in your face. Strong fire sign vibes. So yeah, if 
you're talking to a lot of people right now, one is going to make the offer, or you are going to make the offer, and you are going to take it. So that's really cool. Hopefully it goes well. Um, okay. Yeah, but you know, you're still in your energy, though, King of Swords. So you're going to see through absolutely anything. So I do feel... You have a knight here, but you also have the you have the knight of wands and the king of wands. So maybe there's two fire signs looking at you. One's a king, one's a knight. But with the king of swords energy, you're gonna know which one to choose. You will know. And with the queen of swords, yeah, you'll know. You will see right through this knight. He's gonna come with fucking flowers. I mean, shit. That's okay. He's cool and all, but there's also a king as an option. So maybe you should. You know what I'm saying? But you'll see. You'll see what's up. Okay, so shit, oh, okay, Ace of Wands at the bottom, so yeah, there's going to be new passion coming into your life, and you've been manifesting it, because you've been sitting here thinking about how fucking bored you are, you already did the shit, you already ended the cycle, you learned the lessons you needed to learn, now you're bored, work's going pretty good, you just started a new project, and you're liking it, but the Empress card, it's going great, so you're not worried about it right now. Okay, let me get some advice for you. Yeah. Let me get some advice for Aquarius. Sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. Can I get some advice for April 1st to the 15th, 2019? Okay, hello. Okay, so we have the nine of water. So if it's advice, it's be happy. Or it could be, since we have the nine of cups here, it could be stay single. For maybe a little longer. Two of air. Normally the two of air. This person. Okay. Seven of earth. Keep focusing on. I'm getting let it come to you. Because just keep focusing on your work. Your shit's growing. Like your seeds are growing. The seven of earth here. You're good. Everything's going great. Like she's just in the. I don't know if you can see it. But in this card she's just like. Thinking. Which is what y'all do. Shit, just thinking. She has a big ass diamond right here. Like, she's abundant as hell. So, I'm thinking it's just like, just stay within your energy. Like, I'm getting that because she's like dancing around. Like, she's, her back is turned and she's just like not choosing. She's like, she's being chose. So, like, let them come to you. Let them make the offer to you. Because it's going to be the right one. Because a king knows what he wants and he will um, go get it. So, yeah. For sure. For sure. Just keep working on yourself. Keep focusing on yourself. Don't make any offers. Let the offer come to you is the advice. So, yeah. I hope this was helpful. I hope this was a good reading for you. If you would like a personal reading, all the information is in the description box. And, yeah. Have a good April.